Hey everybody, I'm back on everybody's favorite independent game distribution platform. This is Xbox Live Indie Games, and I am taking a look at Storage Warfare. I assure you that any similarities to Smash Hit, probably fake TLC reality TV show Storage Wars, uh, is entirely coincidental. Well, we'll see about that. Anyway, we're gonna create a new character for, for, for ourselves, so the reason, the genesis of how this Storage Warfare video came about for those of you who are fans of the television show, you know what? I'm not necessarily not a fan of Storage Wars. I find it pretty funny. So I'm gonna make myself an amalgam of the greatest characters that that show has ever seen, obviously. Barry Hester. What could possibly stop me? I played oh, a little yeah. bit. yeah, Storage Warfare, yeah. Oh, totally forgot about that part. Again, all references to uh, TLC's hit reality show are totally coincidental. Oh yeah, Storage Warfare, yeah. Okay, well, maybe not. In any case, uh, the way that I came to find this game, it's Wednesday afternoon here in Canada land, and I signed into Xbox Live to see what today's new uh, Xbox Live Arcade game was, you know, the marquee indie releases on that platform. Turns out, for the second week in a row, it's just totally devoid of new stuff, so I went into Xbox Live Indie Games and managed to find Storage Warfare had just come out today, so the heavens parted, I heard angels singing as a fan of the television show, I knew that I had to pick this up, uh, I've played about 10 minutes of it so far, I'd say that's probably enough to get the intricacies of Storage Warfare down. Uh, this is very much an oddity of a game, and it is, you know, priced accordingly at 80 Microsoft points, aka $1. So here's our interface here, we're on our early 2050s era touchscreen or holodeck, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Uh, I guess it's just meant to be a laptop, but anyway, we have our bank, we have 1500 space dollars, uh, we have a schedule, kind of like FIFA or, you know, sports game style, uh, that has auctions that we're gonna go to. If you're not familiar with Storage Wars, basically, uh, you know, you buy storage lockers and you put your shit in them, and if you don't pay your fees, eventually they, they get auctioned off to the highest bidder. We've got items, uh, but we haven't seen them yet, obviously, and we've got messages, which we don't have any of. Uh, so the show is entirely based around the idea that these people are professionally in business buying items from unused storage lockers, or, you know, ones that have fallen into, uh, arrears. And then they sell them at, like, thrift stores or auctions of their own and stuff like that. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be in the shoes of a... Typical storage warrior here. So we've got three different uh, units, or sorry, three different storage warfare facilities we can go to. The stack and store, eastbound storage, and top shelf storage. Uh, stack and store is like the lowest tier quality goods. Cheap auctions, but also cheap goods. Eastbound is mid tier, and top shelf is high tier. Anyway, we're going to go to the stack and store here. And we're going to have three units to bid on today. And the basic premise of the game is going to become pretty apparent pretty goddamn fast. So I'm going to open up this storage locker here using the A button. We're going to get a sweet sound effect. I will say presentation-wise, admittedly it is probably still a step above most Xbox Live any games. We're going to take a look at this locker here. So we've got a suitcase, we've got a couple of bags of stuff, old washing machine, old TV, uh, and a box with some mold on it at the back and some poker chips. So we're going to decide, you know what, what do, you, what do we think this locker is worth? I think it's worth maybe 300. Yeah! Unfortunately, this dirt bag says he's not losing this unit, so basically, yeah. we're just gonna continue yeah. to bid against each other. Yeah. I'm willing to pay like up to a thousand for this. I got it for 700, so after you buy something, uh, you can see what you get. So you can see if your investment's panned out. So the broken washing machine gave us zero, the old TV gave us zero, the briefcase gave us zero, the paperwork gave us zero, bags of trash gave us zero. Casino Poker Chips gave us 300, which kind of doesn't even really make any sense. But we're minus 400 for that locker, which is obviously not good. How about this one? We got like a katana, a surfboard, a guitar case, a lamp, uh, a safe, I think. Two boxes of fragile stuff and uh, a toolbox back there. You know what? Barry Hester is going to go hard on this one. I don't know. If he thinks he's getting this locker, he's crazy. We're going to go uh, 600 yeah. here. All right. So there's a bunch of different storage warrior personalities that bid against us. For 700, that was enough for us to get it. Okay, so in our box, we got reprinted artwork. Fake casino chips. Apparently, fake casino chips are not worth anything. What, did I actually, like, take the chips I got from that storage locker and take them back to the casino and just play slots or table games or something? Why would anyone ever leave just, like, straight-up money in a storage locker? Bags of trash, not worth anything. Old video games were $200, apparently. Oh. Wow, I am garbage at this game so far. This is not going well. You know what? We might as well just go hard on this locker, see if we can make our money back. Just bid 750 right away. And lost almost all of it. So we lost $1,200 there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart the game. I would not like to continue my current game. Let's start a new one here. And I don't even remember what any of these guys are named besides Barry and Dave Hester. So again, we're going to go Barry Hester. Uh, and, 
there is a progression in the game. I don't want to give it too little credit. Uh, it, it's obviously a total ripoff of the oh, TV yeah. show, but mostly when I play this game, yeah. I'm thinking, how awesome would it be if there was actually like a Storage Wars video game? It would be the lamest thing of all time, and I'm sure the execution would be terrible, but I would be so into it in like a guilty pleasure poison mushroom sort of way. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna go back to the stack and store. Let's be a little bit better this time. We got a weight bench, suntan lotion. Games are always worth something. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, you know, those are probably bags of trash or old clothes. Let's say the games are worth 200. Weight bench is worth 100, and the cocktail sign is worth 100. I'm willing to go as high as 400 on this one. Yeah. So let's go with 450 and completely, uh, you know, disrespect my earlier intentions. Yeah. No, he's going to take it, and then we'll walk away, and he'll trash talk us. Maybe I will let you win one at the next auction, or not. That's about the height of the comedic chops of the players on the show as well. Let's check out locker number two here. Got a gumball machine, a bunch of random boxes, some stuff, and a hubcap. You know what? This locker is junk. I'm going to give you 250. Yeah. All right, you can have it, oh. lady who is really dressed up for probably the most dirtbag activity I could possibly imagine. She says, you know the goal is to be the highest bidder. That's not true. The goal is to make profit. I could just bid $100,000 right here and go into Chapter 9 bankruptcy. There's no pride in that. Anyway, so got a random box, a couch that's probably worth like 100 bucks, a washing machine which could be broken, and a fridge and a cocktail sign. I'm willing to go as high as 500 on this one. So let's start with 300. Yeah. And then we'll go 400. Yeah. And then I'll go 500. Ah, and I earned it. Okay, so the couch is worth 100. What did I tell you? Refrigerator is good condition, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so that's another 200. Nice neon sign. That's another 200. New washing machine, $200. Clearly, this person has never been shopping for appliances. Uh, box of old broken toys. Bags of trash. You know what? We managed to turn a profit of $200 here. So let's check out uh, eastbound storage. And see, usually we have higher quality goods here. So we've got a beer sign. U.S. Customs open under extreme caution, uh, a fridge and a cooler. These usually, uh, like the second tier, they usually go for more expensive. So I'm willing to go as high as 750 on this one. Yeah. So go 450, yeah. 550, yeah. 650, yeah. 750. All right, you can have it, motherfucker. Thanks for not putting up much of a fight for that unit. Thanks for wearing the most wrinkly clothes of all time. Did you get those from one of those trash bags? hi oh, I'm not happy about that. All right, this could be a good locker. We got a stool that's probably worth like 25 bucks. I can see some tools back there in the back, and we've got nine uh, tires, which are probably like 50 bucks each. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll go as high as 600 on this, take a gamble on those bags. So let's start with three. Nah, let's start with Yo. four. They're not going to go for three anyway. Yeah. Five, how about six? Oh, yeah, that's no, mine. okay, I'll go for yeah. eight. Yo. So this is going to be the last one? Yeah. No, all right, you can have it. Thing is, we don't have much bankroll right now to be uh, investing in a lot of these lockers. Now, here's the tricky thing about this locker. There are varying degrees of uh, items in here, and each one of them could be a gamble. There could be like a dress in that box that's worth a lot of money. There could be just straight up gold doubloons in those trash bags. But the thing that intrigues me here is that purse. That could be a designer purse. I'm willing to go as high as uh, 750 on this one. So let's start at like 450. Yeah. All right, this guy again. Yeah. Yeah. How much money does this guy have? Yeah. All right, you know what? Walk away. Thanks for not putting on much of a fight for that unit. As you can see, there's very varied writing. So we're going to skip over top shelf storage. What I'm going to try to do over the course of this video is demonstrate how to run your own storage wars business or thrift shop. You have to build up your bankroll on these smaller lockers first. You know what? This is a junk locker. I'm willing to go as high as 300. We won it. Okay, and immediately we got a jewelry chest with silver jewelry in it. Sometimes you just get lucky, folks. Uh, boxes of clothes. Boxes of trash. Autographed basketball. Michael Jordan signed this basketball. Yeah, just put the put the Jordan rookie basketball uh, in the storage locker along with the silver jewelry. We'll be back for it. Don't worry. So you turn a three hundred dollar profit on that. Got a flat screen TV, a football could be autographed. Washing machine. I'm willing to go as high as like five fifty, six fifty on this. Yeah. So let's go four hundred. Wow. There was like clearly good stuff right there. Leather couch worth three hundred. Designer purse in that enormous box that looks like a refrigerator would be in it. A refrigerator? Wow. Am I on Honey Boo Boo now? Um, new washing machine and a small flat panel TV. Turned a $600 profit on that locker. So far, so good. I've got an aquarium. Aquariums can be pretty expensive. Just ask Michael A. L. Fox. A shitty TV, probably worth $0. And uh, probably a reproduction painting. Willing to go as high as $300 on this one. Yeah. 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 All right, I get it. Uh, you know, we'll go 400 just because I made so much money today. Maybe we can make some more. Yeah. Nope. All right. You can have it. Maybe I'll let you win one at the next auction or not. The writing must have taken forever here. We can check out our bank. As you can see, we turned a $2,600, or we I guess we've made $1,100 total uh, over the course of our storage lockering so far. Again, I'm just going to skip the rest of this month and go back to the stacking store. 
Making $900 a month, enough to sustain my business, apparently. This looks like a pretty good locker. Let's just go 400 Yeah. How about 500 Yeah. Really? There's a flat screen TV in here. I'm going to let her have it, though. Why come to a storage auction if you're not going to buy anything? Just to get a sweet look at those legs. She must work out. Now, there's two footballs in here. This looks like a shitty locker. I'm going to go 300 yeah. You can have it. Aww. How about this one? Also looks pretty bad. How about 350 All right, we're going to get it. We got a $300 leather love seat. Again, in a... Designer purse box, apparently. Nice leather briefcase, 100 bucks. That's a $100 bill right there. Boxes with a lot of DVDs. Hey, sometimes you get lucky. We got another 250 So I'm gonna probably stop the video fairly soon. Because there's not that much more to show off. This is not a Poison Mushroom episode or a Let's Look At, despite the way that it's gonna be branded. It's more of just a... Again, Xbox Live Indie Games has a lot of strange curiosities on it, shall we say. Let's try to get a little higher here. If you know what I mean, Snoop Lion style. Uh, and we're gonna go to like mid-tier auctions and see if we can get some better stuff. I see golf clubs, I see moldy boxes, fridges, and uh, gumball machine. You know what? This one to me looks like it's worth six fifty. Yeah. Seven fifty. Yeah. Eight fifty. Yeah. Nine fifty. Yeah. Ten fifty. How did, did we make a profit here? Well, we didn't oh. lose that much. We lost two fifty. I had a great idea for a, a joke. We just got to make it happen here. Uh, I see some turntables. Those are usually pretty expensive. Let's start low. Yeah. Okay. Am I sexual? Yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so not proud of myself. That was a Backstreet Boys reference. I apologize for being incredibly tone deaf, by the way. Believe you me, you are not the only people that have been witness to my terrible singing. Nobody wanted to go to karaoke with me in Korea. Was it? I, I forgot the rest of the lyrics. But anyway. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I want the slot machines. Slot machines are worth yeah. money. Those are probably like autographed Tyson gloves yeah. in there too. What do we get here? Okay. Slot machines are worth 800. That was an easy profit. Turntables were 300. Bar stools were 50. Signed boxing gloves. I knew it. And boxing sports memorabilia. Another. This shit is all planted, man. I don't buy it. Now, when I get a lot of money, generally what I do is I just go to a locker and I say, you know what? I'll give you a thousand cash. And then the game decides, decides, sure, you know, that's pretty good actually. Uh, and in doing so, I managed to make myself even more money. As you can see, we made another sixteen fifty just on this day alone. So now we can go to top shelf storage. We're in the end game of storage warfare. Uh, and again, with so much money, I'm basically just gonna, uh, you know, be like, hey, you know what? Fifteen hundred right here, Yo. cash on the table. All right, this guy's still here. Yep. Yep. What about like two thousand? Is that what he's gonna get get out Yo. on? I think so. Yep. Nope. All right, we're gonna go high on this one. Twenty one hundred. This could be a big gamble. Digital safe with cash. Yeah, what should we do? We're moving. What should we do with our safe full of cash? Oh, I'll just put it in the storage locker. Who has a safe full of cash but can't pay like $12 a month to keep a 4x8 locker? Two autographed baseball bats. Boxes of rare sports cards. Autographed football in, again, a designer purse box. Wow, we are doing quite well for ourselves. Lots of fishing rods here. You know what? Again, we'll just drop 1500 Like so. Yo. Yo. And I think the game ends after like a yeah. year or two years or something. What do we get here? Again, jewelry chest with diamond necklace inside, of course. That's what I'm gonna put in my storage locker, where just anyone can take it. Um, and this proves to be a pretty good strategy, at least in the short term for me. Uh, just outbidding everybody and, in turn, yeah. winning all of these celebrity Yo. storage lockers that have somehow fallen into disrepair. Look at that, we've already turned a profit just by outbidding this guy. Uh, you know what? I think uh, the gameplay is getting a little stale here, so let's go back to our uh, main menu. This is Storage Warfare, now available on Xbox Live Indie Games. I don't recommend you pick it up necessarily. I'm just doing this video because it's kind of a weird curiosity. And I want to put that idea in people's minds. How awesome would like an RPG or Telltale style action game or uh, adventure game based on Storage Wars be? That shit would be the bomb. I don't care. Kickstart it. Unofficial Charles Barkley shut up and jam Gaiden 2 style. Make it happen, and I'll be there. Uh, hey, Northern Lion, would you buy a licensed Storage Wars game like a fucking idiot? Yup! Anyway, I'm not proud of myself, but that's going to do it for this episode, or this look at of uh, Storage Warfare. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, happy hunting, and as always, I will see you guys next time.